Hey there, it's Beth, and I'm up for the National Scrapbook Day Crafty Channel Surf YouTube Hop. And I am so excited to be a part of this hop. There's some really great ladies, and I will definitely be leaving a link below in this description box for the next person that you should be hopping on to. So because I've also hosted challenges for uh, this National Scrapbook Day this year and some other groups, I decided to go ahead and do an art journal page for this hop uh, because I've already done two scrapbook layouts. <laughs> so what I'm working in is my traveler's notebook insert. It's made with mixed media paper so I can get pretty much as messy as I want to in this traveler's notebook. And um, I will also leave a link to my shop if you're interested in purchasing one of these mixed media traveler's notebook inserts. And what I did was I took a piece of Jane Davenport uh, paper from her paper pad and I found this lovely girl and um, decided to cut her and put her on one side of the page. And then I had leftover paint from another project already on this page that I had used painted on the page with a palette knife. And I decided I was just going to continue doing that. So that's what I did. Um, I used the Jane Davenport uh, acrylic paints for this because of the simple fact that they are a matte acrylic paint and I find that pretty awesome uh, the golden and Liquitex heavy body paints they do tend to have a sheen to them or shine to them and I wanted to keep this a little bit more muted uh, and so I just went with it and there was no rhyme or reason that I had going on here I was literally putting a little bit of paint on the palette knife and then drying in between um, each layer that I put on so that I wasn't smearing the paint. And acrylic paint dries so quickly. So when you're doing something like this, the drying time in between them, um, it really doesn't take away from you getting on with your project and moving on. Because I tend to be impatient sometimes when I'm doing projects. Um, but this, like I said, it dries super quick. I probably could have gotten by with not even using my heat gun for this. No, I probably couldn't have. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm lying. I need it to dry so that I can move on and be as creative as I can be. So with that being said, um, I literally, all I did was smoosh some paint on with my palette knife. Well, rubbed it on with my palette knife and then the next step for me here that you're gonna see in a minute after I'm done with all this painting is I'm going to grab a feather uh, but this feather was put on some transparency via some shimmers paste and um, then I just cut around the feather to cut the feather out of the transparency and so then I'm left with this beautiful feather I used uh, the feather um, on one side of the page and then I grabbed some Tim Holtz uh, oh I believe small chat stickers and then I pretty much am done with this art journal layout so what you see me doing here this is um, also a Jane Davenport item um, and by all means I am not sponsoring her <laughs> in any way shape of the form I'm just I really love the products that she came out with they are pretty awesome for mixed media products so but that is called the paint over pen and that's in unicorn so I use that for some markings and then you see me deciding between the two feathers and I decided to go with this uh, darker blue one for this layout and then I uh, glued this on with the Fabra Fabra tack glue which if you've watched some of my other videos or if you're new to my channel, I cannot speak highly enough of this glue. This glue is so, so awesome and I absolutely love it, love it. So here I am, I'm grabbing my um, Tim Holtz small chat stickers and I'm putting one phrase next to my lady here and in hindsight I kind of wish I had put them lower so that they weren't right by her head because I feel like it kind of takes away from her a little bit but they were kind of like stuck onto the paper and I was surprised because I just, just the sticker they're stickers but they were not moving so and I didn't want to take a chance or rip my paper 
And then I use the two other paints over pens that I have in the blue and the pink. I forget what they're called, but I use those to just kind of outline the boxes a bit. And I'm just trimming off the edge of that paper because it was hanging off and I don't like things hanging off too much in my art journals. And that is going to be it for this. So thank you so much for watching and please make sure you hop along for some crafty inspiration for this National Scrapbook Day Crafty Channel Surf YouTube Hop. There's some really wonderful ladies that are involved in this hop and I hope that you get lots and lots of inspiration. Have a wonderful day. Bye.